after taking a few days off from um, thrifting, I was back at it this week. So let's roll the tape and then just wait and see all the amazing things that I brought home. So I did take a tiny break from um, thrifting, maybe like a whole four days, but this week I was back at it. I just kept seeing these like garage sale signs, estate sale signs. So I wound up going to a couple of thrift stores and then I also hit up an estate sale. One of those thrift stores was Abraham's Charity in Bremerton, Washington. actually supposed to be heading to my niece's place to help her load up some excess trim from when my mom's condo got done but I had to stop at this estate sale so let's go check it out shall we They're making us work for this one because I see a very long driveway. Well, this is, I figured this was probably you. Look at that amazing set of green canisters. Unfortunately, they were $200 for the set. So a little too rich for my blood. There is actually some pretty nice linens there, like this beautiful pink magnolia tablecloth and these little doilies. There's also um, like some piles of like fabric, but I must have not been in a linen kind of mood because I didn't grab any, but I did grab those gigantic brass candlesticks and this army blanket. Even though it doesn't have the army emblem, what I kept thinking is I could make some pretty amazing pillows out of that, right? And actually use like a stencil to stencil something on it. See that little brass plant stand in the corner? That caught my eye. I didn't really want to pay $40, but Heidi wound up letting me have it for $20, and so I couldn't resist.
I made a track to the very top of the property and the only thing I saw was this musty, crusty, cobwebby ranger hat, but there was something about it that really appealed to me. I wanted to pay $10 and it is not in the best condition, but you know, sometimes you got to do what you got to do. I'm Heidi Barrett. This is my estate sale, um, Barrett Estate, that Abby is having fun shopping at, getting some really cool vintage clothes. Um, but I also have a space over at Josephine's Mercantile, which is Saratoga Lane in, in Port Orchard. Washington. And, yes, Port Orchard, <laughs> Washington. Um, but yeah, so I'm like Abby. I collect and buy and sell cool stuff. And uh, if you're in town, check definitely check out Abby's store in um, Polsbo, Washington. All right, cool. So I have to say that Abraham's Charity is becoming one of my favorite go-to thrift stores. Not only are their prices good on any given day and chock full of vintage and collectibles, but it just seems like every time I go in there, everything is 50% off. So I did grab that and you'll find out what that is in a little bit. So um, it just seems like this is just a great place for people to donate their estates and household items. They resell the vintage and collectibles to support their charity of providing free furniture, clothing, and household items to residents in need that live within the area. Ooh, I have one almost exactly like that. It is a Chinese utilitarian jug that people would use in small villages in China. They're so pretty though, so rustic. This kind of caught my eye. It's not old, but I love that kind of fun glass display. And I have been bugging Tina, the owner, <laughs> to sell me that brass shelf. Oh, oh. Yes, look at that. You know, she had two of those, and I really should have nabbed the second one for myself. I actually have been wanting to do a fondue night for me and my girlfriends. So that day, she was hosting an estate sale, and there was so much great stuff, like that cool vintage bracelet. And then see that pattern in the background? It's probably from the 1950s, from what the hem likes, hem lines look like on the pattern. And that one was only a dollar. So um, I think it was everything in the back was 60% off and then everything else in the store was 50% off. But she gave me 60% off of everything because I always buy so much stuff from her. <gasps> Look at those little ballet shoes. These didn't make it on the haul part of the video, but I did pick those up because they are so pretty. And I picked that up. I thought it was a piece of linen, but come to find out it's an African dress. <laughs> and then I did pick up this cute little hand. It's a Lucite hand and it's funny because my phone fits perfectly in the palm of it. Look at that. I don't know. I am wondering if I should have grabbed it. It does say as is. And so I'm not quite sure what the as is part of it was. So I know it's hard to think about. But for a store, we have to think about upcoming holidays. So I actually did grab some uh, Christmas ornaments. But none of those mugs. 
aren't those absolutely precious i love that pale pink so yes i had to take them these will be winding up at the store and i grabbed those plates aren't those awesome And that picture. It is so Art Deco, although I can't seem to get it clean. And it was only $10. Or maybe $9. I thought this paper mache chicken... That used it actually used to hold candy and it's very vintage. Oh, I just really love those. I didn't buy them, but I did really like them a lot. Although <laughs> I did grab that chicken. Why I grabbed the chicken and not those silhouettes, I don't know. And I did grab this. This is perfect for anybody who's into mid-century modern. For Christmas I thought that chicken was really interesting I really think somebody probably had a collection of chickens and they donated the whole lot of them to Abraham's those were cute they were really tiny and very old I didn't buy them but I did grab these ones And honestly, I really love this tea set right here. I thought it was the prettiest thing. And I don't think I've had a tea set in the store. Maybe I should have bought that. I could always go back. But look how cool that is. It is definitely very mid-century modern. And I thought that was kind of cool. And that could also be Japanese as well. It looks very, it looks Asian to me. Another very pretty tea set. I'm kind of digging that the young girls and boys, I guess, are getting into cottage core because it just means so much beautiful, so many beautiful items are going to be saved from the landfill. Like this rug. Here's another <laughs> item there that I looked at and I looked at and I kind of regret not buying. I actually have a carpet cleaner. I totally could have cleaned that. But you can't take everything home. Or even if you have a store, you can't take everything. And this always, whenever I see something like this, it reminds me of Laura Caldwell from The Recycled Life and her love for Potosi. I'm always wondering if I'm looking at a Potosi. But it just doesn't appeal to me, so I didn't buy it. But I did buy these beautiful red glass wear set. So pretty with that etched glass. <gasps> and then Tina brought this out from the back of the counter and said, I know you're going to love this. And I whooped and I hollered and totally fell in love with it. So I'm keeping that one. And then I found this Ramones lunchbox. Isn't that cool? As somebody had stuck a Janice Joplin um, sticker on the front. And this was funny as heck. Look at that. Yeah.
So in case you're curious, you can find all of my um, shops online down in the description. And then you could also follow me on Instagram because a lot of times I post things as I find them where the videos obviously take some time to make. So, um, but I'm so excited. Let's get going. So those sales were so much fun. I hauled away a ton of stuff. And then when I hit Abraham's Charity House, wow, like I think I probably spent an hour there. So let me show you the first item. So the first item I'm gonna show you is this gorgeous brass fondue pot, very mid-century very heavy it is gorgeous and i paid 15 dollars at abraham's charity and i think i'm gonna put 75 dollars on it she actually had two of them um and i only grabbed one i kind of regret that because i think it would be really popular in my store as well another item i grabbed at abraham's was this 1980s possibly 1990s tracksuit it has the pants and it has the jacket and it ha it's an olympic tracksuit you see the usa this was a partnership with pennies which it says right on the collar and i did do some research yesterday and these are going for about um a hundred dollars and up so i think i'm gonna mark it at 99 dollars, and i'll sell it online and we'll see how it does Another item I got, another item I got. Well, I, these are all got items, right? So um, I picked up this camera at Abraham's. We cannot figure out how to open it. It's an Eastman code, it's an Eastman Kodak um autographic kodak jr so i don't know if this was meant for like young people that were getting into photography it's really cool and it comes with this leather case but I, we can't we couldn't figure it out i went on youtube and i feel like it has something to do with these little lovers but if anybody knows how to open one of these antique cameras up i would love to know Next up is this amazing sterling plated or silver plated art deco pitcher. And look at, it's a water pitcher. Look at the design on that. It's kind of got this very square, very much art deco. And um, I still haven't gotten it fully clean. I think I'm gonna try a home remedy that involves vinegar, boiling water, and salt, and we'll see if I can um, get all the tarnish out because I think once it's completely clean, it's gonna look amazing. So I think on this one, I would price this at um, $90. Whoops, I had absolutely no idea, but my phone stopped recording. So at this point, you're just gonna have to look at the pictures and listen to the voiceover. At the estate sale, I picked up this cool old ranger hat, which was probably World War II. It's in pretty rough shape, but it would still make a cool decor item. I also picked up this military blanket, probably also from the World War II uh, era, in much, much better shape than the hat, though. These I got at Abraham's. I just thought they were so pretty and it just seems that anytime we bring anything that's glass and pink it sells at the store i think i'll price these at probably 25 dollars at 
first glance, I didn't really think much of this wood box except that it was pretty. But upon closer inspection on this beautiful marquetry and doing some research, I realized it could very possibly be a late 1800s English Turnbridge document box. It is absolutely stunning and I've priced it at $145 which is considerably less than what they're going for um, on the market. I am absolutely smitten with this Joy de Toile salt and pepper shakers in, in this pink floral. They are so pretty so tiny so petite at one and a half inches but they would look beautiful on a breakfast tray there is an english word train used to describe these utilitarian wood decor items like these gorgeous candlesticks and it is typically used to describe english wood products which i think these could possibly be anyways i think they're so gorgeous and i've priced them at 65 dollars on my online shops <music> I spotted this right off the bat and didn't quite know what it was. It's a hem marker, so people would put it on the ground and measure from the floor up. And then what's funny is the next day, I actually caught a YouTube video of somebody that recreates old uh, historical costumes and she had bought one at an antiques fair. I run across consas like this every once in a while. This particular specimen is really, really pretty and I paid up for it, but I didn't realize that these can go for upwards of a thousand dollars. I got these little antique pewter and wood salt and pepper shakers at the same place I got the sconce. Once again, these really strike me as potentially being English. So it was very much an English kind of week, which is really bizarre because I got uh, the items at different sales and different thrift stores and yet the English theme continued. And right in time for an autumn display that we're gonna do at the store, I found these little bottles in amber. I've never carried amber bottles, but I'm gonna put a price on them and we'll see how they do at the store. I couldn't resist this set of blue horseshoes. I mean, somebody took the time to paint them blue when I saw them at Heidi's estate sale. I don't know. I think there's just something so happy about them. So I am going to list them online for $30. And I just think they would look so cool in a kitchen or a kid's room. Aren't these atomic salt and pepper shakers the coolest cats you've ever seen? I love the orange and green color. I'm going to price them at $28 and they're going online. I doubt they will last. I picked up this wonderful carpet bag weekender at Heidi Sale. I love this kind of a autumnal pattern and the fabric is so soft i paid ten dollars and i think i'm going to put 35 on it this is a celluloid mantilla comb that spanish ladies with super long beautiful hair used to use in the old days to basically hold their hair up in a big bun I think I paid about $10 for it, and these are getting hard to find, so I will be pricing this one at probably $65. So that's just a portion of all the amazing stuff that I found. So if you want to see pictures of the other items, you know, the best thing to do is to follow me on Instagram. Otherwise, I will see you next week.